What is going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing vlog. You join me down a private lake today. To be honest, this place is like any fisherman's dream. A little 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 lake in the back of back of a garden. <laughs> it's not even an acre, but it's packed full of fish. So the plan of action is today. I am armed with a, a bamboo old rod that my dad gave me. I've got some marshmallows there on the hook that I'm gonna be fishing just to make a point that you can catch fish on anything and I'm also armed with some OG fish as well so I've got a bag of that and to be fair I've been throwing that in the margins and they've been going absolutely mental for it so that's where I'm at that's what I'm doing really excited for this one so but what I will say is guys before I start this video give us a massive thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and I really do hope I can pack in as much action in this one as humanly possible in a second I'm going to pull up the drone the drone and uh, try and catch something on the top and, and show you guys so there it is that's where I'm at that's what I'm doing I'll see you soon This is what I'm using, yeah. Pink and whites, one pound 35 from Sainsbury's. One pound 35 from Sainsbury's. I'm gonna throw them out, get the fish going on them. Let's catch a, let's catch a big cut. And hopefully I can pick out one of them better size ones, if I'm honest, because there's a couple out there, but the every now and again, a, a half decent one comes up. So I'm gonna flip these out a little bit. I <laughs> really catch a fish on a marshmallow. Ice. First one for me. Look at him. <laughs> Lovely little thing. Well, I'm gonna get a little bit of carp care on his mouth. Put him back how I got him. He's bleeding a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> what a way to start, I reckon. I'll give that a couple of pound. So it's what we're here for. First cast, two little bits of <laughs> pink and white. So there was I think it was to be honest, I think the other one fell off. So it was a little pink marshmallow on there and bang. Happy days. Thank you very much. Right, well, to be honest, they've moved off the spot now. I keep throwing the marshmallows and I've just got marshmallows lingering out there now, so they're not taking as much. So what I've resulted to, or moved on to, should I say, um, obviously, as I said earlier, I was throwing some OG fishing, just some lovely 40 mils I made from a personal fishing at the beginning of the week. Fresh batch. But this is what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see that. But literally, simple as simple. I'm going to put that on, I'm going to flick it out, I'm going to throw a handful of, handful of baits over the top of it and see what happens. Let's try that. So hey, fish number two. Funny old mark on them there, mine. Miss, miss scales, but look at them. Big, wildy, big rubber lips on them. Probably never been caught before in his life. 
Really lovely fish. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Let's get this one back and hopefully get a bigger one. Happy days. So then guys, this is what I've been having them on. So this is anybody who's new to the channel or that hasn't seen me before. This is uh, my own bait or myself and my brother's bait. And we uh, it's, a, it's a bespoke bait that's handmade, packed full of nutrition. And it will be going live during the duration of, well, in August. A lot of time and effort's gone, gone into this. It's not a half-hearted thing. It's uh, something that's been in the pipeline for a very, very, very long time. And something I've been very passionate about as well. So again... Without further ado though guys, like I said, please, please, please go over to the Parker Bates channels, i.e. the Instagram, we've got an Instagram page, and we've also, we've also got a Facebook page as well, and we do we do, do random uh, giveaways, and we, well, the other week we give away 10, 10 kilo of bait as well, so there it is, that's what I'm using, I'm, like I said, I'm literally, I'm hooking, I'm hooking, I'm, I'm just... That's that's quite a hard bait, but I'm literally just just hooking her through on a real, it's on a on a size four raptor, or sorry, size six raptor, and yeah, <laughs> it's doing the job. But I've literally been feeling a spot just here, and I don't know if you can gauge, but well, you can't see it through the camera, but here there's a massive. It's all milky, where all the fish are coming in and feeding. It's you know it's gone nuts. What I try and do is I put on the screen of some of the footage I've got of. The drone footage I've got of it all milking up when I first got here, throw load in, and it just went nuts all around here. But yeah, check that out for yourselves, guys. But yeah, what a place! <laughs> what a place! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Beautiful, really starting to mature now up here. And to be honest, a lot of the fish um, I actually stocked in myself. Um, over the duration of the last sort of six seven years I would say uh, the biggest fish again what I'll do is guys I'll put that on the screen now check this out I stocked this in 2016 and um, I put it in at four look at the reeds are moving as I'm walking around with the fish are in the reeds um, I stocked that um, back then and I put it in at just under 15 pound and the fish hasn't come out since like not that it gets fish because it doesn't but I mean that's definitely a fish that I would like to get my hands on again but again sorry to waffle but look at this look at it so a little bit of history guys and something that you might find quite interesting and if it is something that people find interesting comment down below but this lake was actually dug and lined it's got a lining in it the lining was ridiculous money I'm not going to go into detail but I mean if people would really like to see more or learn more about how this was built because the, the actual soil here is not very it's not got much clay in it so it doesn't hold the water like a lake should so the only option on this this particular bit of land was to line it and that's that's what we've done but again like i said guys if you are interested and you'd like me to do a video in that or a video on that going down the line comment down below and that's something i'll definitely definitely do but i'm not going to say something i'm going to do if people don't really want to see it so look here it is i'll have a little walk around for you and show you It's really starting to mature now. It's just, oh, it's just beautiful up here. Like I said before, it's every angle it's dreamed to have something like this in your back garden. It's just nuts. It's just mental. And all this, none of these shrubs were here before. So all this, is, all this is. Oh, there you go. Reed's going down there. Then as I walk past, it's packed full of fish. Packed full of fish. Oh. oh. Don't worry. That's plastic. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. Look at this. And this is where they tend to spawn as well, and they've got that out of their systems. Well, to be fair, they spawn all over, but particularly this end. Um, and what they were, they have been doing that over the duration, well, probably three weeks ago now, they were doing that. So it's all out of their system now, it's done. This is the tail end of the lake, guys. Look at this. Some nice little cubby holes, look. Somebody sometimes I just come down and just feed them and just 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 watch. I come down and feed the bait in a lot of the time when I've made up batches and some stuff that I've been playing about with. I feed it in the lake and see how the fish react to it. It's just call me sad, but I find stuff like that really really interesting, and um, it it works as well because I think if you're in a position where you've you've got access to a lake, whether that's your local water or wherever. 
if you can start playing about with things and trial and error different things ultimately you're going to learn and i've always said to to my mates that when i go fishing if i've went fishing even if i haven't caught if i've went fishing and i've gained something in regards to the knowledge it was worth going on that trip and there's always something whether that's to do with my bait or whether that's to do with my fishing as a general um something to do with the the pressures or the particular bait that i'm using at that time of year it's so it's just all very interesting i think if, if anybody sort of feels the same as me as me about it then again give us a comment down below because i think fishing is not just not just something you do it's a part of your life and it's it's just it's just something about it i mean in my eyes <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else i'm not going to lie that, that this is it so there it is i'm not going to waffle but that's a little bit of an insight of the lake itself and it's a tiny lake. Right then guys, I'm back to where I was now. I'm gonna flick a few more sort of uh, marshmallows out if you like and uh, try and nail one, one more and I think I'm gonna call it a day. Probably quite a short video this one but um, hopefully you're enjoying it so far. I'll see you in a sec. The world would not be the same. Some people laughed. Some people cried. Most people were silent. I suppose we all thought that, one way or another. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty. Right then guys, that's me round. Everything's in the car now, I'm pretty much ready to go. It really is amazing what you can catch on an old rod and an old reel really with a, with a single hook and some pink and white marshmallows from Sainsbury's for £1.35 if I haven't mentioned that already. <laughs> Hope you like this video guys, if you, if you have, give us a comment down below, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and I'll see you all next Sunday, 7.30. Peace out.